Remy Lou. She was born on St. Patrick's Day and she weighed 8 pounds 9 ounces and was 21 inches long. So she was a big baby. But she has been just a dream since we got home. I feel so lucky to have such a good baby. But she just has been so perfect. Um, my labor was pretty intense. I'll maybe do a whole video on that if you guys are interested. Um, so when we got home, we definitely needed to rest and have a little time to heal. And she honestly was like such a dream baby that that actually happened. And I feel so much better already. So yeah, she's just been a little angel. And I feel literally the luckiest to have her. I just sit and stare at her all day long. She's just so cute. So, yeah, I thought I would just take you guys along with a very casual day in our life. We obviously aren't doing a ton right now. We're just kind of hanging out and just kind of learning the ropes of being a mom for the first time. So, that is kind of what we're going to do today. Today is actually the first day that David had to go back to work. So, it's just her and I. So, we're tackling this Monday together, aren't we, Remy? <laughs> All right, and that is Remy Lou. Um, she will be the newest addition to our YouTube family. I think she's exactly what we needed, and I'm so excited. So I'm going to let her finish up her nap, and then we'll check in with you guys later. Okay, I just fed her, and now I'm going to go try to feed myself, and I'm going to actually wear her. This is just one of the, like, Solly baby wraps. I've only done it a few times, so I'm not, like super good at it but I think I'm kind of figuring it out okay we got her in here she is so cozy she gets a little annoyed when I'm trying to get her in just because I feel like I've only done it like five times so I'm not like super quick at it so I feel like I just kind of like annoy her but once she's in she's so cozy and I just love it she's just like so close and she'll usually just nap in here and I can kind of do whatever I need to get done so I am gonna go make some lunch and she's just gonna hang out here until I either set her down or honestly I'll let her nap in here until she wakes up again so yeah finished eating and cleaned up the house a little bit and she's gonna lay down for a nap now probably she'll probably nap for like another hour so I'm gonna go in just sit by her probably stare at her and listen to a podcast or something like that I'm realizing how much time you spend kind of just on the couch especially between like feedings and napping I'm like not comfortable yet really like leaving her in a room by herself so we do a lot of like sitting in a room and then she eats and does the same thing over and over but I am totally content right now with that. I know it won't last long so I'm just taking in all the snuggles I can get and just kind of hanging out. Um, like I said, I think I said earlier, my um, labor was pretty intense so I am like trying to take things pretty easily just so that I heal properly and um, I don't like overdo it um, I think tonight be, might be our first night that we go for a walk going for walks was like one of my like main things I was so excited about and um, just because of how my labor went and stuff I haven't really been able to go for a walk outside yet so I think we might attempt it tonight I probably won't go super far but just excited to like get outside put her in her stroller for the first time and um it's actually like 70 degrees out today so it's like perfect time to do that so yeah that's kind of what the plan is right now it's like 1 30 so just kind of hanging out hopefully david gets home a little early tonight so 
yeah, we can hang out, go for a walk, and just like enjoy the weather outside. I feel like we're all getting a little like cabin fever. We've been like stuck in the house obviously, but I feel like I'm blabbing. I have no one to talk to but a baby, so you guys are it. guys it is a few days later and we are getting ready for newborn photos my friend is actually coming over and going to take Remy's newborn photos which I'm so excited about and David and I think are gonna be in a couple so we're slowly getting ready this morning trying to get like all three of us situated um, so I thought I would show you guys kind of what I have for her to wear which I kind of feel like I went a little too neutral. I obviously love neutral colors, but um, I'll just show you guys what I have like laid out. Okay, so here is what I have. I kind of just put a bunch of stuff out. I'm gonna have my friend kind of help me decide, but I know I for sure want her to wear this little knitted outfit. I think it is the cutest thing ever. It has these little buttons in the back. It's so tiny, it looks like it's for like, an American Girl doll or something. It's so small. Um, and then I'm just gonna put this long sleeve um, little shirt under it. We have some like knee-high socks that are super cute. Um, so I'm thinking that will be with um, like David and I. We'll like we're all kind of in those type of colors. And then for just her photos, I want her just to be like in a swaddle or even naked. I think they're so cute. So. I just laid out some of my favorite swaddles that I have and of course some of these little turbans that I think are so cute. So um, I'm going to do those and then I did lay out some of these other ones that are like pretty and maybe a little bit more colorful. I I don't know. I love them. I think they're like the cutest things but I just don't know for like newborn photos but I thought I would lay them out and have my friend help me choose. And then I just put some like little, I don't know, props, obviously like love a little palm leaf moment. I thought this pillow was cute. Um, I bought this little pacifier holder off of Etsy, which I thought was super cute. This is a little rattle, which is going in our Easter basket, but um, Easter's tomorrow, so we're gonna use that maybe. And then I did this little bundle of just like dried um, wheat and lavender. I don't know if my friend wants to use it, she can, if she doesn't, she doesn't have to, but that's kind of the vibe for the photos. Um, I, hopefully it'll look okay. I kind of struggled and finding newborn stuff is super hard. So that's kind of the vibe. Um, hopefully they turn out really cute. I'm sure they will. Caitlin is like an amazing photographer. If you live in Minneapolis, she does family and newborn photos. I think she does like engagements too and stuff. I don't know. I'll maybe leave her website in the description if you live in the Minnesota area. Um, she's really good. So yeah, I just heard her cry though. So I'm going to go feed her and then my friend will be here in like 20 minutes or half hour, I think. So we're going to put on our dresses. I'm waiting to get dressed till the very last moment because I didn't want to get any, um, you know, baby stuff on me. So, uh, yeah, feels so weird to have my makeup done. I keep looking at myself and like not knowing who I am because I haven't put makeup on in like since she was born. David walked in. He's like, whoa, you have makeup on. It's like shocking. So, okay, I'm going to go feed her. I'll maybe film when she's here if it's not too like chaotic, but um, yeah, happy Saturday. Here is the dress that I'm wearing. It's just this little, um, I don't know, white dress from Free People. It's very flowy because I wasn't sure what I was going to be able to fit into yet. So I just went with like a really simple and flowy dress, but I think it'll look pretty in the photos. So that's what I'm wearing. And now we have to get you dressed, Missy. What are we going to put you in first? Huh? 
What are we gonna put you in first? Okay, here's Remy girl's little outfit. You guys, I can't. Why is this so cute? She's got her shoes tied. Good girl. <laughs> Surprise, these are like fitting her because she's so skinny. We just wrapped on taking the photos, which I think turned out so good. I'll obviously share some on my Instagram once we get them back. But she did so good, and now we just let her take a nap, and now we're going to head over to David's parents. It's kind of our first outing. We've gone for a couple walks and stuff, but we haven't really like gone anywhere or gone to anyone anyone else's house or anything. So we're making sure that we're well prepared. She's fed and napped, so I think we'll be good in the car. But she did so good at the photos. Dad is the king of putting her in the car seat. I honestly haven't done it that often, but look at her little outfit. She's got little fruit all over her pants and then a matching little headband. So cute. I call her my fruit baby because I ate so much fruit when I was pregnant with her that was out of control. So, all right, let's go. Good morning guys, it is Monday morning and we are just getting up. We're actually gonna go for a walk because it's so nice out today. So mom's gonna order Starbucks and we're gonna go walk and pick it up and then we'll see what we do the rest of the day. We might try to get groceries, I'm not really sure. Um, but we had such a good weekend. Oh. We actually went and saw some family this weekend so it was kind of our first like family adventure out and it went so well and it was just really nice. So we're all a little tired this morning, but we're just kind of taking it slow. It's already almost nine o'clock. I feel like the mornings go so fast. Well, the days go by so fast. I feel like I blink and it's like five o'clock. So yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. We're gonna go pick up some coffee for mom and then go for just like a small walk around to the neighborhood just to get some fresh air and to get me moving. I feel like if I get up and walk around and stuff, I feel better. So that's what we're doing. Sorry if this vlog is literally all over the place. I wasn't anticipating for it to be so many days, but we're just working with what we got and I figured something's better than nothing. So yeah, thought I would end the vlog today. I'll vlog a little bit more of our day, but Okay, I think we're all ready. Are we gonna tackle our first walk together with our dad? Yeah, we got this. We gotta get you a little blanket though. We've been home now for a few hours and Remy's actually about to go for down for another nap. So I think we are gonna go for another walk because I can't go for super long walks. So when I can and I feel good, I wanna go for like multiple walks throughout the day just because it feels good, it's so nice out and um, just so I think fresh air for both of us is really good right now. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. What time is it? It is already 2.30 and my cousin's actually going to come over after work to meet her. So I'm really excited for that. And then I might actually go to Target for the first time by myself tonight and leave Remy with dad and just have myself like a little like half hour browse through Target, which I hardcore like quarantined before a month before her due date just because I didn't want to risk like getting COVID or having David get COVID or anything so we didn't really go to any stores or anything like that so it's been a long time since I've been in a Target or like a TJ Maxx I'm dying to go to a TJ Maxx um, so I think I might like go for a half hour tonight leave Remy with dad and just 
browse the aisles of Target, probably buy groceries and stuff like that, but I'm so excited for it. So that's kind of my plan for the rest of the day. I'll bring you guys along, obviously, but for now, we're gonna go for a walk and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hi, Remy. We are currently on our like fifth outfit today because it is so much hotter than I thought. It's like 80 degrees out and she got so hot on our little walk and none of her newborn clothes are for summer because obviously it's spring right now. So all of her newborn clothes are for like colder weather and we're just going to make what we have work. But yeah, I literally could not find an outfit that was like cool enough for her to wear. So this is what we're going with today. Huh, Remy? It is hot out. Yeah. Still cute. 